Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at how you can find people to follow on Twitter. Well, we've just launched a new section at MacMost.com. It's a guide to Twitter. And you can go there and find out how you can use Twitter, how to find followers, how to get people to follow you, and find reviews of Mac Twitter applications and link to iPhone Twitter applications. If you're new to Twitter, your first problem is finding people to follow. Now these people fall into a couple of categories. The first one is the most obvious one. It's your friends. Find out which of your friends are on Twitter and follow them. You can send out an email to all your friends or just ask around. Now beyond friends are what I like to call connections. Connections are business associates, maybe people you work with, people that you met throughout your career. You can go ahead and look through your address book and see if any of them are on Twitter. You can go ahead and look at their blogs, maybe look at their personal home pages and see if they list a Twitter address. Maybe email some of them if you know them well enough. You can also go ahead and search the internet or search Twitter for their names. After connections there's a group I like to call leaders. These are people that are in your field or have a similar interest to you but are leaders in that field. They're usually people that have a lot of followers. You can go ahead and search the internet for people that have blogs. Maybe you already follow them through RSS feeds or just by reading their website every day. You can go ahead and see if they've got Twitter addresses and usually they'll tweet some interesting things about topics you're interested in. Related to that in a way are companies. So these are people tweeting from companies, maybe companies you do business with or companies that you're fans of. It could just be a company that you have a lot to do with. For instance, if you fly the same airline all the time, maybe the uh, cable provider you have or the telecommunications provider you use at home uh, has somebody that is on Twitter. You can go ahead and find these people and go ahead and subscribe to them. And usually you can find out about new services or offers from companies that you use this way. This also gives you a good way to send a message to somebody at a company that you use. A lot of times that's more effective than going through customer support as their social media expert who's on Twitter can sometimes help you where regular customer support can't. Now a lot of people like to use Twitter to follow celebrities. So if you're fans of artists or actors you can go ahead and search for them and see if they're on Twitter. A lot of times it's easiest to actually just search for the name of the person followed by the word Twitter and you'll find maybe a blog post by somebody else that says hey did you know this celebrity's on Twitter here's their address. That's sometimes the easiest way to find them on Twitter. Now you have to be wary sometimes it's the real person tweeting, sometimes it's a hired assistant tweeting and sometimes it's somebody that's not even associated with them that's tweeting. So you want to maybe do some more research by doing some more searching around to find out if that Twitter address is the real thing. Another good source of people to follow on Twitter are news organizations. You can follow most news organizations all the way from the big cable news networks all the way down to your local newspapers. A lot of them have people that tweet or they automatically tweet their recent headlines. So you can actually keep up with the news locally, nationally, and internationally using Twitter. The last category would just be random people. People that maybe share a similar interest or maybe you find humorous or interesting. One of the ways you can find these people is of course by looking at the tweets that come in from your friends and seeing when they retweet something somebody else says. Go and check out that person's profile and if they seem interesting follow them. You could always unfollow them later so it really is no harm in just trying. You can also go ahead and just search Twitter for terms that you're interested in. Or you can actually go ahead and look at the trends on Twitter. These are all links at the bottom of the main Twitter homepage and you can see if there's any interesting trends going on and people discussing something. And if you find somebody saying something that you like or find funny or interesting you can go ahead and follow them as well. So that's a brief look at how to find people to follow on Twitter. Especially helpful if you're new to Twitter. Also check out our entire section, the Mac User's Guide to Twitter, where you find more articles and reviews. And you can also follow me. I'm at R-O-S-E-N-Z. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.